Hello boys and girls. Welcome to peek over my shoulder as I am new visioning all over Neo Feud. By the way, you can get Neo Feud from HU. I will put some links in the description that lead to further links. I believe we are approaching some sort of culmination. We are deep in the bowels of uh, Princess Leg Tildalus Palace here. And we are about to mess with the time space big ass continuum do that. Ooh, so if he puts it on, I take it he will his consciousness will get transported to somebody else's. He is not the key. Duh. Also, we have this thing. Can you use it? Not yet. Okay. So you do that. Ah, uh, what's up with the brain scan, yo? chosen one or what is the panel said something about having the name of the primordial one the blood of the prime mover and the mind of the protege at hand right maybe we need the other two items in place before you can unlock the garden with your mind okay so We need the uh, Aleph flag, uh, blood of prime mover, I guess that's the uh, professor's DNA then. Just 
I don't know, just use it. Okay, we have the blood here, so which one is which? I recognize these symbols. They were imprinted onto Dr. Gertzel's first successful post-human prototypes. Aleph, Mem, Tav. Together, the symbols read Emet, or Truth. Okay, and the other one. Could be that we need the other blood. Can can you can you equip it? Could you pretty please? Okay. Sometimes he doesn't want to pick things up. Ooh, spooky. Okay, can we... Can you put it away now? Okay. Can we use the phone now? Right, move over. Information Super Highway. Jesus, what the hell is that? It looks like a giant neural. It's like the mind of God himself. This has to be it. The Garden of Forking Paths. We've done it. Wait, so <laughs> I'm supposed to be like God or Galactus now or something? I don't feel all divine and all powerful. You're supposed to be able to alter reality itself using your mind. Just focus on a, a vision of resetting the world to normalcy. Uh, normalcy? <laughs> I don't even know what that even is. But, okay. Okay, I I'm trying, but nothing's happening. I don't understand. We did everything the right way, just as Gertzel said. Dying's quite a rush. You should try it sometime. Whee! King Warren? The of course only it did. plausible explanation is it it was you. The the king is his own king slayer. You committed suicide by poisoning yourself. Hole in one, you found the Maltese Falcon, Detective. Unfortunately, you also found the Horus's talons. See, I knew I'd never convinced my other little mother Teresa of a daughter here to hand over the key to the Garden of Forking Pass. I also knew that a unanimous vote to release that ultimate power would never pass in the Neo-Feudal Council, because I would be the one in control and would start wiping my rivals off of the face of the planets one by one. A mental note, wipe rivals off the map later. I also had it for my CIA intelligence guys that Walker was planning a coup d'etat by an all-out aerosol and planted ground troops. Gotta give the guy credit, he knows how to put on a show. Now, I knew if I was mysteriously and publicly assassinated at the G8, 
Walker would immediately storm the fulcrum like the United States bombing an oil-rich Middle Eastern country, which would put all of the Council's head of corporate state in dire and possibly deadly straits. In which case, they'd be swimming for the nearest lifeboat like rats on the Titanic. And if that meant unlocking the garden, then so be it. With your hated father dead, you, Sybil, would be happy to give the Council a bailout using your key. That is, Mr. Robot here, I suppose. Secret is, I had the poison tweaked. The nano deconstructor said that the delay neural tissue breakdown to give me just enough time to remote download out of my dying body. You don't want to know, I suppose. Into what? Well, let's just say I'm post-geographical. I think Gertz will throw around the term discarnate. I'm a ghost in the machine, my friend. I'm one with the eye in the sky. See, I was there when Gertzel finished his masterwork, his personal Sistine Chapel. Beautiful, isn't it? But the little detail you all missed is that the key to the garden is separate from the throne of the garden. Gertzel resists the idea, of course, knowing I'd be the one in the control seat, but a hundred subjective years of transcranial neural torture will change a man's mind, even one as strong-willed as Gertzel. Your problem, my dear Sibs, is hubris. Run to the family, I suppose. See, you thought you had a master plan airtight, but I've always been a step ahead. The eye of horror sees all, darling. I know you don't believe me, but truly it pains me so to hear a cruel wiretap connection that my own daughter is plotting against me. But how did you... The money. You buried a Trojan in the transfer. You took the billions from me at the Oasis Country Club like you always do, taking daddy's money. <laughs> That's fiat money, printed out of thin air by your banking cartel. Details, details. It's the principle of it, baby. You were my scion, the next in line for the throne. You never would have given it up. All you care about is yourself. Your power. Your dynasty. You were my dynasty. You were my daughter. My flesh and blood. That's what a dynasty is. I could have given the world to you, Sybil. But now, as we say in politics, steps have been taken. Steps we can't untake. I guess that's the irony. I can alter reality itself, but I can't change you. It's just like my father always said when he was king. It's lonely at the top. Here, you can have front row seats to my new empire. You can watch my nation building. Ooh. Hmm, what's wrong with this picture? Oh yes, I need to be winning. Abracadabra. That's better. <laughs> King Warren just used the garden to annihilate the entire Coke Job Sky City. Did you completely lose your marbles during that upload to the god computer? You just blew up an entire city full of people! Technically, I simply swapped in a portion of parallel reality wherein the Coke Jobs Stratoplex accidentally has a nuclear meltdown. So you see, according to causality, the explosion was always going to happen in its own timeline. I'm not liable for any loss of life or property. It's just a matter of risk management, <laughs> see? Walker should have taken out city owner's insurance. But you made the risk of meltdown 99.999%. You weighed at the dice in your favor, ensuring the destruction of your rival neo-feudal family. Oh, come on, Sims. Now you're just nitpicking with technicalities. Besides, this wouldn't be the first time the powerful have put their hand on the scale in their favor. You do it all the time. By giving defective evolutionary losers in the ghetto a chance to lead a healthy, productive life. The Egalite Cooperative works to better the lives of all. 
You just destroyed thousands, maybe millions of lives to increase your own power. Settle down, darling. You're overreacting now. Have you already forgotten that the Cove Jobs conducted a military strike against the Fulcrum and took the G8 hostage? That psycho General Walker declared war. It is the Cove Jobs military industrial complex that was destroyed, after all. As I said, the Clinton Bush dynasty, under my leadership, is the only thing that can bring stability and prosperity to the world. We are exceptional. We do not negotiate with terrorists like Walker. You're insane! You've just destroyed the entire city-state of a major neo-feudal power. This could destabilize relations across the entire solar system. You might have just started World War IV! And just as the Americans and Russians had mutually assured destruction during the Cold War, the Warren Doctrine will do it in one better. Unilaterally assure destruction. Any attempt to countermand my agenda or subvert my authority will be met with immediate and total oblivion. It will be a new, peaceful, golden age. I'm sorry, the truth is a cruel mistress, but you know I am right. Power is all there is. Those with the gold make the rules. And Clinton Bush has a monopoly position on the gold. You forgetting one thing, bitch. All that glitters ain't always gold. Ah, the low city's trash speaks. Gertzel must have truly lost his mind to put the key to the kingdom in a worthless tin can like you. Really, Sybil, all the low city franken freaks and junk bots can ever amount to is nothing. Well, for queens at best, suckling in the high city teeth for an energy handout or free housing. And the majority? Murderers, rapists, drug dealers, like this metal thug here. All you do by trying to help them is prolong their pointless, miserable lives of squalor. That's the whole zip freighter full of black and bullshit! <laughs> My maker, Doc Gertzel, he masked the plan, your blingy sky cribs, your chrome warriors, even your god cannon here. And when you got what you wanted, you dumped the mega genius in a landfill, called him a conspiracy nut, a terrorist. You ain't about shit, bitch. You just a scrub, jacking the swagger of giants. Use the Steve Jobs. Leeching screen time and dollars off the techno genius of Wozniak. Use a Kanye West, an Illuminati phony, get a rich and shitting all over the legacy of social conscious hip hop like public enemy. You take people who make a difference, flock them over, and make a buck. Ha! Dog, you know what the funniest shizzle is? I used to thought getting the glitz and the bling and ICs in my dope crystal sky crib and a fly ass pop star diva bay was the life. Six billion dollar baller. <laughs> now I see what this high town phony shit is about. Black that shit. That was all flacking, wishy-washy, <laughs> bullshit, imagination, dream shit. My pops was a flacking deadbeat. He was an asshole drug dealer with screws loose, narcissistic tendencies, all kind of other problems. But he was real. Realer than any of this fake-ass shiny royal discombinated soulless garbage nice speech for a defective product prototype j13916 what are you going to do about it boy i'm gonna do what he would have done get ready yo cause shit's about to get real Prime mode can hold back mud 
fucking Megatron here! No! We're not leaving you, Proto. Jobs Christ, kid. I... Go, go on, Carl. Go get your peeps back. <laughs> Live free or die hard. You flacking po po. God damn it, you little punk. Thank you, kid. We're coming back for you, Proto. Maybe not in this time or this reality, but a princess always repays her debts. Squid Pro oh. Carol. And Carl. Yeah. You owe me <laughs> a cigarette, b bitch. Enough. I am the master of the universe. I win. I always win. What's happening? I don't know. The elevator just locked up all of a sudden. No, no nothing's happening. The interface is malfunctioning. Uh oh. Why are we on this floor? I've got no idea. It's it's like the control's been overridden. Hello, boys. Princess Sybil? Help us! The coke jobs have taken over the fulcrum! Princess Sybil, you were charged with treason for conspiring against King Warren Clinton Bush, CEO of the Clinton Bush Corporate State, and against the Neo-Feudal Council. This is insanity! I... You're also charged with war crimes in violation of the Geneva Convention. These include the use of nuclear weapons against civilian populations an unwarranted slaughter of millions in the destruction of the coke job stratoplex and resulting collateral damage. The destruction of the coke job Sky City was orchestrated by King Warren using the reality shaping device. He openly admitted it. He has made an official statement to investigators naming you as the suspect. There is a preponderance of the evidence, including emails and security footage. My father has the garden of forking paths. He can manufacture all the evidence he wants with a mere thought. Please come with us, princess. She's not going anywhere with you. Uh -oh. Your ammunition is ineffective against our universal reconstructors. Carl, it's no use. We can't win this battle. Come with us now. I mean, they would take them upstairs, wouldn't they? I like how the scientist just keeps on. It's for you. This is carbon. It seems that defective of yours disrupted my synaptic connection with the garden shortly before I tore apart atom from atom. Serves you right, you inhuman slime. Without your quantum magic wand, your all powerful Wizard of Oz image turns out to be a shriveled little man behind the curtain. Once the rest of the Neo-Feudal Roundtable senses your weakness, they'll erase your digital existence like a private email server full of dirty laundry. You're finished. Strong words for a failed detective. A failed husband. Your poor wife. What are you talking about? You don't know shit about me. Oh, but I do, Carl. I own the police, the FBI, the CIA, remember? Got your case file here. You've led quite an interesting life, Carl Carbon. One wife, one dependent, divorced. Don't you talk about my family, you son of a bitch! Or what? Are you going to arrest me? Punch me in the face? You're right, though. I won't talk about it. A picture is worth a thousand words. This way. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Jewel. Hello? Jewel, it's it's Carl. Oh, she seems properly zoned out. Johnny! Hey, Johnny! It's Daddy! Jewel? J Johnny? Hey! Jewel! Johnny! Hey! It's Carl! It's it's Daddy! What's happening, Mommy? It's cold in here. And I'm scared. I want to go home. I'm not sure, baby. The policeman just said he had a few questions. I don't understand. I want to go home. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. It'll be all right. We'll get out of here soon. Don't you worry. Jewel, it, it's me. I'm right here. I, I'm going to get you guys out of here. Don't worry. Why can't they hear me? What have you done to them, you piece of shit? I haven't done anything yet. This cell is probably an improvement to their prior living conditions, actually. Let them go! I'll kill you! I swear to jobs, I'll... Oh, settle down, Carl. We're in High City now. No more barbarism. <laughs> Let's have a civilized talk. Tell me, Carl. Did you start cheating on your wife before or after you started shooting up the narcotics you were confiscating for the DEA? Shut up! That's a lie! I never... Your email and text message history say different. I've got a family picture here. Near Waikiki. <laughs> My, such a beautiful wife and a cute kid. How did you get that picture? To my superhero hubby, love, Jewel. Wow, Carl, you were a lucky man. Too bad you had to screw it all up. It, it wasn't my fault. I... You shot that innocent robot, Veteran Martin. Started the media fiasco. I... I was under direct orders to shoot. I was framed, crucified. But you pulled the trigger. You screwed up. Own up, Carl. Veteran Martin, say his name. I... I... I screwed up. You were fired from CPD. Now Jewel and Johnny are living in Dickinson slum, barely getting by on food stamps. No health care for Johnny's multiple sclerosis. I... I... I tried. I... I gave them all the savings, the, the pension. We sold our little one-bedroom. I... I moved into a leaking flat in the slum. She... She wouldn't even talk to me. Got a job at Senian Services, but that was barely enough to live on soy men noodles. I I gave them everything. Wasn't enough though, was it, Carl? You just couldn't make it as a provider. You're a failure as a husband and as a father. Defective. An error. As failed as that rusty old arm of yours. Useless as this pitiful, half-baked, egalite plot. I, I screwed up. I I screwed it all up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Carl. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. Help your family out. Give them the American dream. No, the neo-feudal dream. Your wife can live in High City, in the jeweled home of her choice. Johnny's illnesses can be wiped clean with Nanomet Tech. You can go to the best schools, be an architect, whatever you want. You... you can do that? Of course I can. That's how neo-feudalism works. As long as you help me remain in power. I... what do you want from me? I just need you to take their place in a cell. Simple as that. Just do your hard time in the slammer. I read you grew up Catholic. Just call it penance for your sins. Reconciliation. That, that's all? And my family is taken care of? Absolutely. That's the deal. After all you put your family through, don't you owe it to them? I'd be betraying Sybil, her revolution. My daughter's liberal fantasies were doomed to failure from the start. She is in my custody now and cannot help you. If you attempt to speak to her, the deal is off. Can I at uh -uh. least speak to my wife and son first? Unfortunately, that's not possible. Right now, they have no idea what has transpired, 
and if they get wind of what has transpired here, they will have to be eliminated. Okay, I... I need to think. We don't have time, Carl. This has to happen now. And you said my rivals will be coming for me. So, deal or no deal? Right, we are at the robotics building uh, facility. I'm gonna take a wild guess that those are just droids. Fuck off. Never! You're a master manipulator and you're just using my family to move me like a chess piece on your board. Well, I won't be the pawn of a king anymore. Ah, <sighs> Carl, I'm disappointed. An idealistic hero wannabe to the bitter end. Fine. If you want to martyr yourself and your family for some imaginary greater good, so be it. Besides, we have a standing deal with Fribble, don't we? Oh. Well, I suppose that didn't work. It's over, Carl. At least Jewel and Johnny will have a chance. There's some solace in that. Irony is, I put dozens of slumbot kids and chimera junkies in prisons just like this one to meet an arrest quota, climbing the CPD ladder. I barely gave it a second thought, slapping the electrostatic cuffs on some minority species kid in a hoodie. Poetic justice is funny like that. I wonder if Dr. Gertzel spent the last of his golem project days chained up in a cell like this one. I suppose King Warren will keep me on ice down here indefinitely, an asset awaiting liquidation. Still, one piece of the jigsaw that doesn't add up, why would Warren even bother keeping me around? If he has Sybil in custody, the coke job's entire flying pentagon a radioactive wreck, unless... I'm being saved as some sort of bargaining chip. To bargain with who? Hey, what was that? Hello. Okay, let's save maybe. <gasps> New location! Oh, and I, I still have all my doodads. Use the move thingy to get up there. Can I? Can I get up? Okay. How do I get on the bed if I can't get on the bed? Oh, okay. Huh? Looks like the little piezo electric microphone on this camera is trying to talk to me. Uh, either that or solitary confinement is causing hallucinations. <laughs> What? Now I'm really losing it. God? Proto? Proto? Is... 
that really you? How do I know this isn't another one of Warren's mind games? <laughs> you goddamn crazy chrome boy, it is you. Well, wh where are you? Well, we saw you obliterated, erased from the universe by Warren. He only thought he erased me, but all he did was I can't explain this parallel shit. Proto? Uh, jacked in? I into what? Everything, Tom. I'm all up in that Nirvana his house. Third eye open and shit. This beautiful Tom. I'm uh, not sure I get the metaphysical ramifications of this. Uh, I've got a few questions. Uh, so what's the game plan now? I ain't sure myself. Oscar has a self, but my Wi-Fi connection to this world, I'm operating at one out of five bars. You know what I'm saying? I ain't at full strength. I can see Warren is still out there in the voodoo underworld or whatever. And I can see the garden. I'm jamming his connection to the garden. But it's sapping all my mind mojo, my sentient swagger. But if we work together, the Egalate Cooperative. Egalate Cooperative? Pardon my French. Yeah. If you can be the Chewy to my heart solo, I think we can teamwork this bitch. And put the beat on our one. Just what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Except, come on, kid. I'm obviously Han, and you're Luke, at best. Yeah, yeah, fine, old man. First things first. I can't actually poltergeist shit around, move stuff on the physical plane or whatnot. Only connection I have is through electronics. Digital, it seems like. Well... Can you just, uh, get into the Fulcum network and open the cell door or something? I can't get the door open, unfortunately. Fulcum security is tight as an X-800's of nuts. The door won't open without authorized guards with hands on the handle. Some sort of DNA lock double redundancy requiring a physical presence. Probably to defend against a cyber attack opening all the cell doors and starting a riot. Yeah, so no emancipation proclamation for the jailbirds. That means you're gonna have to figure some way to get them guards down here and open the door. Okay, then once the guards are in, what next? They disabled all my weapons. I'll just get the crap beat out of me. I got some plan. Just... See if you can get the cell floor covered in water before they enter. Covered in water? How do I do that? Improvise, dog. <laughs> don't be cops good at that, right? Oh, and don't be touching the floor when the guards are in. Okay. I think I have a vague idea where this is going. I'm on it. Alrighty, we have a new mission. I am going to save again. And this is a good place to take an episode break. Thank you very much for watching. Check out new view from HDO and soon also maybe through Steam Direct. I don't know when that will be. Uh, and so yeah, and see you soon. Bye.